Let me show you my quick and easy piano tuning method that I've perfected for 2021. First, you assess the instrument. Catch the bouquet. Mmm, 1978. No, no, 77. Story and Clark. It was a rainy year in the Northwest. Good for the wood. And the Teamsters had just settled an impasse with management and went back into the tooling factory with Verve and did a wonderful job. Now let's see where we are with the tuning. Oof. Sounds like 2020, full of lies, corruption, and bullshit. Let's see if we can clear some of that out. That's an A. A is for autonomy, something in short supply among doctors, scientists, and researchers. They're subject to the licensing practices of their governing board, so if they step out of line, whoosh, their licenses get yanked. That's a B. B stands for Biden. That key wore out faster than the others. Oh, I see. It was made in China. It needs replacing. That's a C. C stands for chains. Thanks to a faulty and useless PCR test, congratulations. You're now in chains. That's a D. D stands for debt. The ultimate tool of institutional control. Ooh, that's supposed to be an E. But elections are also supposed to be elections. That's F. F is for false positives, which implies that there are true positives. That's false. That's a G. G stands for government. Government can be a good thing. Sometimes the people in it aren't good, so you get rid of them. Without government, corporations have all the power. The East India Company was just such a corporation. They had the power to annex lands, and they had a standing army larger than that of England. We don't want Google, Amazon, or any of those corporations to possess that kind of power. That finishes the tuning of the piano. Let's see how the old girl sounds. Last thing I do is I leave my business card right there. Well, my friends, until next time, stay sharp and not flat. Peace. Hey, before you go, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Boomer Blockers. Do you ever find yourself in conversation with a man with a gray ponytail and a receding hairline, and suddenly you're hearing about how great the Beatles were and you wish you were anywhere but there? Well, with these specially designed glasses, known as boomer blockers, you don't have to be there. They have interior screens, and when the boomer starts talking, all of a sudden you're going to see cut-up credit cards or visions of your parents, who, unlike the boomer, you don't hate. This just didn't! Have you ever been accosted by a boomer who talks about insuring his Stingray Corvette in the event of a terrorist attack, and then he wonders why NASA never took a Stingray to the moon? Could Because that would be really cool? This just did! Yesterday I was talking to a boomer who wondered what it would be like to be Warren Beatty's dick for just a day, but I had boomer blockers. This just did! In the event of a particularly relentless boomer, you simply press the button on the side of the glasses and Michael McDonald's voice will emanate from a small speaker. It sounds like this. From somewhere back in the, long ago. the boomer will then hear that and toddle off to go find himself a young woman drinking a tab, sitting in a Corvette, and wearing a Keep On Trucking t-shirt. Who knows, she might be down for a little parking lot action. Boomer blockers.